So here is going to be a video showing our pickups from the um, Repticon in Orange County this uh, past weekend. As you can see, I've uh, broken down my 40 gallon that used to have my red-eyed croc skinks um, and I've turned it into an enclosure for my collared lizards. I've been having some issues with my crocodile skinks. We've had some colder weather and they've been off food. so. They're in smaller cages right now with the heat turned up just to try and get them to start eating again. In the meantime, um, we picked up an extra female collared lizard. She is the dark spotted one down at the bottom there. Uh, we're hoping she's a female. She lo looked like she was the show. And as you can see, they all seem pretty happy. It's still pretty much like a quarantine type setup, very basic. We're still kind of trying to work in what we're going to do with the lighting. I have one intense beam 100 watt spotlight that's shining down over them on this side. I have a 100 watt power sun plus a UVB bar on the other side. We're still trying to figure out heating elements. But this new female is one that we got from the show and she's down there with it looks like oh it's so hard to tell apart right now. I believe that that is my male, the pale one down there. And then my other female is up here sitting on the perch and they're all doing pretty well getting along this female is a little bit bigger than uh, my male down there, so she, we were a little bit concerned about the size differences, but it looks like in this large tank they haven't been having any aggression issues. All eating well, which is good. And then next door, we picked up a couple more step runners. Um, right now, we moved them into the 10-gallon tank. Previously, they were on a little five and a half. Now that I have six, I figured it would be a better idea to put them into a larger tank. Uh, and again, this is the one that my collards were were in previously, so it has the same 50 watt heat light on there, plus the Zilla UVB uh, bulb, the, the bar at the back there. Um, and it's keeping steady at about mid to high 90s, um, right here on their pile of rocks, which they really seem to be liking. There's six of them in here now, so I know it's still a little bit crowded. We're still kind of treating this as a quarantine tank just because I haven't quite gotten a good setup for their permanent housing yet. That's a whole other story. But for now, for at least the next couple of weeks, they're going to be hanging out in here. It's doing pretty well. They're all eating great. They had some mealworms earlier. We'll probably give them crickets later. They've gotten to the point now where when they see us, they will actually come out and beg, especially this big male right in the front. Um, we're pretty sure he's the dominant guy in the tank there. Um, the others seem to respect him pretty well. But yeah, so those were the three pickups that we got. Uh, again, two step runners and one female collared at the show. It was a lot of fun. I will be posting more videos soon.